Okay, this how-to video is going to show you um, how to use Capture CIS with relational databases. So when I go to my uh, my CIS Explorer by using the Z button, uh, this is going to launch the CIS Explorer window. Then you can see I've got a standard kind of CIS database table here. Um, so if I go and find a part that I want to, to want to look at specifically, uh, memory SRAM. I've got a list of all the default parts and if I select a part I kind of get the, the default kind of table information all the properties that I would normally define but in this instance I've also got some relational database properties so you can see an additional um, table up here that gives me some alternative manufacturing maybe some distributor information um, and you can have multiple columns in here so you can see I've got two different suppliers um, it's actually the same manufacturer but it's a different part number that can be used under the same part and you can store additional properties like data sheet all the different cost information part number using a relational database property link. Uh, 